What up guys? Today is gonna be a special video. It's really just gonna be a opening. A box opening! So I got the special package in and as you can see I kind of already took a peek inside. This video is gonna be super short just showing you guys the contents of this special package and also going over Wave 7 merch drop which is happening this Saturday, October 26th at 10 a.m. PST. Do a small overview, show you guys exactly what you can expect coming from us for the fall winter 2019 collection. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Just open this thing. Now, a few of these items I wasn't expecting. My friend Raja, aka Machine56, aka 5060. If you guys are familiar with his channel or what I do for a living as a illustrator slash designer slash conceptualist, if you will, over the course of my Instagram career, if you even want to call it that, um, I've had the privilege of meeting a whole bunch of different artists and creatives alike. And uh, one of my earlier Instagram friends, because I know that's a thing, goes by the Instagram moniker Machine56. And Machine56, he is responsible for these really cool wearable pieces of art. Just in simple terms, really cool looking cyborg helmets. I was just really fascinated with his digital work. His illustrator skills are just on another level. And so long story short, we became friends and we've been keeping contact ever since. And truth be told, ever since I bought one of his first helmets, ever, the MK2, I slowly started growing an addiction to collecting his helmets. So I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what is inside this box. Like some of the apparel that he added in here, like I'll take it out, show you guys. I wasn't actually expecting any of these, but I think he just sent it as a peace offering. So let's check it out. Whoa! This is sick! You know what? I actually wanted one of these for myself, not gonna lie. Okay, just show you that. Better than anybody and things happen is the only way to word it. Nothing's made perfect, every moment make it worth it. Machine 56, he's based in Indonesia. Obviously, there's the time zone difference going back and forth. It's not the most convenient thing. I'm pretty sure that there's a fair amount of resources in Indonesia. And it's kind of similar to China where they just have mass factories creating products. So like I said, Machine56 has insane illustrator skills. You can actually see some more of his work on his DeviantArt, but he also has a unique approach to design, and uh, it's very futuristic, you can see. Like, like almost robotic, a cyberpunk aesthetic. So we'll quickly throw this on to show you guys how this fits. Yo, there's thumb holes. This makes for a really nice, comfortable fall jacket. The design, the detail, I aspire to become this enveloped in detail in apparel. Nothing left untouched. Panzerkunst. Zero gravity armored art. This is so cool. I'd say this is like on the verge of almost tech wearish, but also more casual looking, right? Functional, fashionable. There's even like a pocket in the back here for whatever. And just to show you also the small bag that it came with. This can be totally reused for something else. Next. It's just another piece of apparel. Oh, sick, dude. Just a crew neck. I wish you guys can feel videos. I feel like it'd be super comfortable. Let's wear it. Yo. This is a nice fit. I love it. Let's get on to Big fish. I'm excited to see this. It can be one of two things because Machine56 and I are actually working on another collaboration behind the scenes. I don't know if this is a prototype that I shouldn't be showing you guys or one of the new helmets that he dropped like two weeks ago, which is a little faster than I thought it'd actually take for it to get here. So let's see, let's see. I feel a great power emanating from this box and I haven't even opened it. Guys, oh my God, oh my God, it's a helmet. Let me take a moment. Bruh. I only just saw photos of this and I thought it was a concept, okay? Show you guys the contents of the box. Yeah. Oh, and... There's a couple of pieces in here too. <gasps> Shoutouts, Machine56. Um, I'm probably throwing that on the card. Oh my god, okay. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are. Nah, nah, we got, I, I'm gonna save this for myself. You know what, let me throw this on just to exemplify that it is truly wearable art. Cool, BRB. How cool is this? And yes, I can actually see through this. 
There is a slight difference from this design than the others compared to the other ones where it's like two halves almost makes it like a full frame protective shell this one's a little more like a balaclava i guess and you just slip it on oh. uh, show you guys a close-up of the helmet and it's made out of this I don't know if it's like a light ceramic that's just powder coated. Some parts are gloss red. The white was kept matte. I think that was just a stylistic choice. If you look closely, it's a breathable black fabric that you can see through. I think it's similar for the mouth area because I can actually breathe perfectly through this. The concept actually, as you can see in this photo, I think if you had creative abilities and a vision, you can actually create attachments for this thing. I know that MK2 right on the forehead part had this uh, square notch that you can attach GoPro mounts to. I've made it so that this thing is actually interchangeable. This Gundam V, if you will, can be detached and put on the MK2 super custom helmet, another super custom helmet. And unlike regular motorbike helmets, none of the helmets that Machine 56 makes are usable on motorbikes, legally anyway. And plus, as a safety issue, I just wouldn't recommend it if anything ever happens. And this is something you wouldn't even wanna take out of the house, unless you're like cosplaying or bringing it to an event, or maybe Halloween, Halloween's coming up. It's just a wearable piece of art that I would hate to see get destroyed or scratched in any way, shape, or manner. It also can mean the difference between life and death. So just be safe, kitties. That's pretty much it. I think this is one size fits all. I got a new helmet. Machine 56, big shout out. If you guys are curious enough to see this guy's work, I'll have all of the links to his social media in the description. And I highly suggest you take the time to check him out because most of the stuff this guy puts on his feed is just pure inspiration. And uh, I mean, who comes up with this kind of stuff? This is the kind of thing you'd see in anime or in the future, you know? Guys, Machine 56. I kind of feel like doing a small cinematic with this. We'll do a short one at the end of this video. But before we end this video, I do have that small announcement to make of uh, the Wave 7 merch drop happening this Saturday. So here's a small overview of some of the items we're going to be selling this Saturday. So we got the green staple Midnight Kids hoodie, the fourth iteration. It's a whole new redesign and it's got the thumb holes on the cuffs. The black hoodie to complement it, of course, with the crop top hoodie specifically made for women. Unless some of you men want to wear it, I don't judge. We got two new shirts, including the Fiends shirt, which is... A satirical adaptation of the classic show Friends. Some of you guys following me on this channel are probably too young to even know what that show is, but it's classic and I'm pretty sure Netflix has all of the episodes. So that's something you can binge watch if you're unfamiliar with it. We got three new mask designs, a new hat, a custom engraved signal extenders, and we're gonna be getting 50 anodizing green. So this is a limited quantity for the green ones because I honestly didn't know how many of you guys wanted green. We got new lanyard designs, new key tags, this tactical vest, which is really cool. We call it the Besito Bendi, which basically translates from Japanese into English to a vest of convenience. New plate frame design, finally. Uh, and this is gonna be a staple one that we're gonna carry forever. So we'll never run out of these plates. And we're working on our own custom train handles. Uh, the Surikawa JDM um, you know, those, I, what I like to call mom handles. I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be getting the crown ones in so soon, but we're gonna get hearts and circles. So if you're into any of those two things. So October 26th at 10 a.m. I know California and Vancouver have the same time zone basically. So we're doing 10 a.m. PST. And it's during this time that we're gonna be doing pre-orders for the hoodies. So if any of you guys have an order with a hoodie in it, but also ordered a few accessories, we're gonna be holding your orders back until we have the items in our hands. Aside from everything else, it's just the hoodies that we're gonna have for pre-order. And production time can take anywhere between, let's say like a week and a half to two weeks, business days. But this is to ensure that we get the right numbers because in the past we've actually either undersold or oversold. When we oversell, it's hard to get one-offs of a certain size or a certain style. It just gets confusing and difficult to work around these things. So this time around, just to get the exact amount of numbers, we'll do a pre-order system, hold it open for a few days, and then at the end of that time period, we'll gather the exact amount of numbers. And on top of that, we'll get a few extras for the shop and for any mistake orders or if people want to do last minute size changes and stuff like that. 
crap. It's always a smart thing to give yourself some leeway. It's taken us like seven merch drops to almost get things right. I've learned a hell of a lot this past year alone. It's just a lot. And that's it. Just a small preview. Well, that's pretty much an entire overview of exactly what to expect this coming Saturday. So that's it for this video. I solemnly swear to get better at the video uploading. Especially now that it's almost winter time. Remember guys, I'm from Canada and pretty much three to six months on occasion, eight months of the year, we're basically hibernating. We're all in winter mode. A lot of you guys are actually wondering what happened to the MX-3, the random ass Mazda that I bought as a winter beater three years ago. I'm actually getting it fixed. At this point, I think I've spent more on fixing the thing for how much I bought it for, but we're getting everything replaced, all the fluids, uh, all the belts. It's on its second replacement distributor, so hopefully it's it's roadworthy for the next couple of years. Uh, and I'm actually in the market for a new daily and more so a more practical daily, but also a more reliable winter beater. I'm not driving my FRS, nor am I driving the E36 because I do have plans on building that thing in the garage during the winter. So let's look for a new cheap car. So as usual, thank you guys for watching, taking the time out of your day to stop by the channel. I don't know, sometimes judging by the average view duration, not all of you watch my videos from start to finish. If you do want to keep updated on when new videos come out on this channel, hit the sub button with the notification button ticked. That's the only way you guys actually receive my video unless you're one of those people who check my page on a regular basis for which i'm thankful and uh, i apologize that i'm not more consistent with the videos like i said hibernation season's here so um let's make something of it thank you guys and also let's do that little helmet showcase So remember guys, just a couple of days, October 26, 10 a.m. PST, that is the next Wave 7 merch drop happening at kingsmusterraz.com. Subscribe, drop a like, and leave some good vibes in the comments, and I will catch you guys on the next vlog. Ciao.